Welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be featuring this Scrap Diva die right here. I, it's a mess because I just finished using it. Um, it's super cute though. It comes with a lot of accessories. You get a sentiment that says hugs and kisses, which we are going to be using today. It's got the, um, the, the shadow piece or the backing and then all the letters for the hugs and kisses. You've got some little word bubbles and um, some balloons. So all these pieces right here, see these balloons? Let me share with you what they look like. Look at that right there. This is the backing for the hugs and kisses. And then you get three balloons and the little streamers. You get this piece right here that is like headphones that you can create. You get this layering piece right here that has stitch detail all the way around. And then one, two, three, four uh, word bubbles and the little buttons. Super, super cute with all the details. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with this die set. Um, and then the three pieces that you need to create your base. So if you would like to pick up this die or any die I share from Scrap Diva Designs, remember to use the coupon code PATTY10 and that'll get you some savings at checkout. And it also helps my channel. So thank you so much for those of you that always use it. Thank you, thank you. So this is what the base cuts out like. It has this little tab right here, right? So what I did is I just folded on that tab mark just like that. And I cut out a piece of paper that measures um, a half inch in width and four and three quarters in height. And I taped it on to this tab right here. And that's what created my spine. So I cut two of these out, one for the front, one for the back. And that's how I um, attached it with that spine, okay? Just like that. And then I cut another piece out and matted the inside. And then right here, I just cut a piece of paper that measures an inch. I don't remember how long this piece is. It's about four and three quarters. Um, and this is going to be our closure. I wanted it to look like a phone cover, okay? I was going for a phone cover, and then I decided to make it a shaker, and I cut out the buttons, so it's actually going to end up looking like a phone. <laughs> but the, my initial thought was it'll be a phone cover, unless I put the shaker inside no, because I want to fill this with embellishments. Okay, so we'll stick to our original plan. This is what it looks like, okay? So I cut this piece of paper out and we're gonna glue her onto here. We're gonna adhere her to that. Let's do that really quickly. A little bit of liquid glue. This runs out a lot, so. Oh, there she goes. I'm like, where is it, where is it? It's very runny there you go I'm just gonna spread it a little bit with my finger and then we'll add her how does this go like this okay I want to make sure it's facing the correct direction I just rounded the corners with my with a, that corner chomper I think is what it's called from we are memory keepers I'm gonna give her a good little press just like that and then we're just gonna start with all the pieces that I cut out, we're gonna start um, just layering our pieces onto our phone. So I will speed through this part here. Okay, now that we've layered all of our pieces, I had decided that I was gonna tuck this under this piece of paper so I had to remove some of the glue that I have put in there that that's going to be my closure we're just going to tuck it in to here um and so when I glued it I was like oh no but I'm glad we got lucky it's able we're able to move things around okay so let me see how this is going to work um I want to use some of Cheryl's mixes I think we're going to go with that one I love these mixes. You guys know she has a shop, so you can find these on her website. Ooh, this one has little strawberries. Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, I'll go with that one. It's so hard to choose because they're so cute. Count, count. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. This one is called Rose Garden. So I will have her link so y'all can check her out because you can pick these mixes up from her. And she has a little shop and she does. Um, she does a few different things that you might be interested in. So I will share her with you guys. You might already be following her. She is 
an amazing crafter. I absolutely love everything that she makes. You know what else I want to add in here? Some little hearts. I mean, not hearts, lids. I think I have some here, some pink ones. We'll add some in there, kind of like a, I don't know, a moi moment. A little moi moment, right? With these little, with these little lips. Okay, hopefully they fit in there. Oh, let's see. And then we're gonna glue this down. <gasps> How am I gonna glue it without ruining the closure? That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting, you guys. <laughs> let's see, let's try it. Um I don't know how that's gonna work for me. I might have to change up the closure. Okay. Let's glue this. Hopefully it'll be right on here. I don't know. Okay, let me do this. We'll see. I hadn't thought about that. We might have to change the closure. The closure situation. And then all that's left to do, I want to add a little bead dangle and then fill it with my embellishments. But all that's left to do right here is add this hugs and kisses. We'll do that with some hot glue since it's acetate to make sure that we got her on right, right there. There you go. Just like that. Look at that sequin mix. Isn't that so fun? freaking pretty I love it and then with the little lips in there oh my gosh so good Cheryl so good I love your um your mixes so much okay we're gonna put these here it's gonna be hard to space these out you guys I like to just eyeball things and I always have a little bit of regret when when, when I do that <laughs> but that's what we do okay I don't know if I should add these buttons to this. I'm not sure. Should we commit to the buttons, you guys? What are we thinking? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know if it looks fine without the buttons. And then it'll just be a little cell phone case. Or if we should add the buttons. Maybe I can just... some flower no I think I'm gonna go with the buttons let's just go for it let's just go for it okay here we go let's commit we gotta show that it's a phone so You guys, look how cute this is. Okay, so that goes tucked in there. Yay. Okay, I just need to add my little bead dangle right here. We're gonna add our embellishments to the inside of this. So make sure you come back tomorrow for a little update. Um, we'll see how this ends up working out for me. Hopefully it all turns out okay. I hope that this inspires you to get crafty today. I really am enjoying this die set. It's super cute. Look at this. It's going to be so darling. All right. Thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.